Hey guys, Joe here, and you know what time it is. It's time for another pocket cup of Joe. Yes, we've upgraded to Starbucks. We're going to go over a couple games here, so don't go anywhere. Firstly, let's look at the Tampa Bay Lightning taking on the Detroit Red Wings. Now, the Red Wings in this one, I do expect to find the back of the goal of Andre Vasilevsky. His numbers just are not stacking up in the defense of the Tampa Bay Lightning. I do the Lightning. We know how strong this team is offensively as well. I do think both of these teams get those goals. So I'm going to look at this one to go over that total. I have a feeling this one could go to OT. 4-3 a style game, so very close. I don't want to take a side. Looking at the game, when I like it to go over, I am looking at that first period. I do think that first period can go over one and a half. It's juiced at minus 134. If you like both teams to score in the first period, which I do think both teams can get on the scoreboard, that's coming in at plus 156. So solid way to go in that first period. Alex Leon here of the Detroit Red Wings will be in goal. Now, I do like what we've seen out of him. His defense allows those shots to come in on him. I think he has a solid day. The amount of shots that the Tampa Bay Lightning will be able to get on him, I still think even in a 4-3 style game, you can take him over 28 and a half, save shots on goal. That coming in at minus 102, I think is a solid way to go in this one. Looking for player props in this, Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. I like for that anytime goals coming in at plus 110. And Stamkos here, you can take him at plus 155. The other side of the puck, Alex Dabrinkat, Dylan Larkin, and David Perrin would be the players I would circle for those anytime goals. Okay, now let's look at the matchup between the Dallas Stars and the New York Islanders. Islanders, slight dog at home. You're getting them at minus 102 on the money line, and I'm going to take a shot on this team. We know the head coach was fired, and Patrick Waugh has taken over. I expect him to make sure the defense locks down for this team in this game. So I'm looking for a highly defensive game. We know what the Flyers were able to do versus Dallas a couple of games ago, and I do think even though Dallas had that explosive production yesterday versus the New Jersey Devils winning that game and getting those shots on goal that the Islanders will lock down in this one now the Islanders do give up a lot of shots on goal so I'm really counting on Sorokin to be the key factor in this one taking him over his save shots at 28 and a half I think is a very solid way to go in this one so give me the New York Islanders for a little bit on the money line Sorokin over 28 and a half and the under five and a half at plus 114 I'm also looking at the under one and a half in the first period I think that is solid and the no goal in the first 10 minutes all the best you guys thanks for joining me for the third pocket cup of joe of the day i'm just going to put out a post on what i'm liking in tonight's game so watch for that no more videos i've got to go watch football all the best you guys cheers